Vic Devon Psychotron, and all of us here at Weird Hill Rama will always strive to bring you the creepy. They walked on their hind legs and they carried terrible looking shooting irons with knives on the end of them. The strange. And of course, the weird. Why not? Boys and girls all over the world wonder how Sano lives. I think I'll send for them in my magic helicopter. Tonight, we have a special presentation for you. Our first Christmas weird-tacular. Bringing you a Chex Mix, if you will, of strange, creepy and weird things, Christmas-themed, from the world of cinema and the world of television. So, put on your Christmas sweater. Hang your stockings with care. Have a cup of eggnog and enjoy tonight's presentation. Started a shooting at the Bartooth people, 
and the vegetarians began to fight the meat-eating people, and you couldn't make head or tail of it. One day, they all got into a terrible swap. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, the ground rumbled. The tree shook. Bombs busted everywhere. And shells was a-whistling through the air, like this. It was terrible. Why, why, they fought and they fought and they fought until, until there was only two of them left. good book of rules, but I guess them men didn't pay much attention to it. Hmm. Ye shall rebuild the old wastes. Yes. Ye shall rebuild the old wastes. Some of you may have been wondering about the whereabouts 
of episode 10 of our program. This episode featured Night of the Living Dead, a short film about nutrition, and a Woody Woodpecker cartoon. If you look at this episode on our YouTube channel, you will see it has been pulled for copyright infractions. We wish to state now that everything you see on Weird El Rama, even in episode 10, is all in the public domain. So there is no copyright for us to infringe upon. We are doing our best to bring you episode 10 in another form, perhaps on another channel. Until then, please feel free to check out our blog for more information about perhaps where you can find episode 10 and all the other episodes of Weirdo Rama. We thank you for your support through 9 and now 11 episodes so far. We are greatly humbled by your support and the word of mouth that is spreading Weirdo Rama around the world. So thank you very much. Now, back to the Christmas things, shall we? From Hollywood! The Jack Benny Program! Both of us are in the store here. Uh, I'd like to buy you your Christmas gift now, you see? Because I don't want to duplicate anything. You see, what did I give you last year? A brand new dollar bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a lecture on the evils of wine, woman, and song. Well, that was just a gag, you know. I just, I just did that to make you laugh. I wish you'd have told me I cried all night. <laughs> oh, stop, will you? Now, let's see, Don, uh, right at the top of the list, I got Don Wilson. Gee, I gotta get him something nice, too. I don't know, maybe something in the leather goods department. Now, may, maybe a nice wallet, huh? Mm -hmm. Don would like a wallet, yes, wouldn't he? he would. Oh, okay. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, I'd like to see some wallets, please. All right, we have a large variety here. Oh, all these wallets you see here are a dollar ninety-eight. Well, they look nice. A dollar ninety-eight, huh? Yes, sir. Hey, boss, here's some better wallets right here. Let's see. Oh, this is, oh, Don would love this one. This is, this that, is a real nice one. That's genuine cowhide. Cowhide? Yes, sir. How much is that? Forty dollars. <laughs> He's been with a long time, boss. <laughs> well, all right. I think Don would like this. He has been with me a long time. Right, I'll take this. Now, uh, wrap it up as a gift and send it to Mr. Don Wilson. 4946 Whitsett, Beverly Hills. Hmm? Beverly Hills. Yes, sir. Oh, here's your money. Oh, that's $40. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll make a nice package. Yeah, you. to do that. Wrap it up in a nice Christmas package. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a 10. Let's see, there's 20, 10. There's $40. All right, and, and thank you very much. You're, you're welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Before you put them, I want to write a nice note. All right. For him, you know, a little card for Don. Just one second. I don't know what to write to him. It's just something kind of cute, I think. Let's see. To Don. Something cute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Listen to this, Ron. How's this sound? To Don. This gift is from Jackie. Oh, golly, oh, shucks. I hope that you like it. It costs 40 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't have been tough to get around for $1.98. <laughs> there you are. Now put this in with that. 
And don't be, and, and see that Mr. Wilson gets it before Christmas, won't you? Uh, you bet I will. I'll make a beautiful package for you. Don't oh, you worry about it. I'll Thank take you. care of it. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, let's see. Well, I got Don all set. Now, I want to get something for Mary. I think I get something in the jewelry department for Mary, huh? Oh, say, boss, uh, do you mind if I do some of my shopping now? No, no, go right ahead, and I'll see you later. Now, let's see. I wonder where the, where the jewelry department... Oh, mister? Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me, are you the floor walker here? Well, what do you think I am with this carnation? A float in the Rose Parade? <laughs> Always running. How can you keep a job as a floor walker? Yeah, my father owns the store. <laughs> oh, and you're working your way up. Huh? You no, know, I started as president. <laughs> if you have a question for a floor walker, you better ask it fast. I have no question, and I'm not going to ask anything. I'll find it myself. Phew. Always run into him every place. Now let's see. I wonder where. Let's see, for Mary, I wonder where the jewelry department is. I gotta get... The jewelry department? Yeah. Right over there. <laughs> Gee, I hope they still have a nice selection. <laughs> oh, there it is, there it is. How do you do, sir? Merry Christmas. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to uh, look at a watch, please. I want a watch. Uh, for a man, a woman, or a dog? <laughs> a dog? Well, this is Beverly Hills, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'd like a lady's wristwatch. I don't know any dogs. <laughs> well, we have a very large selection. Now, here's a lovely watch for $120. Yeah, $120. Mm -hmm. How much is this one here? Oh, that's only $12, but it's a very nice watch. $12, huh? Oh, that's a beauty. I can hardly tell the difference here. I'll take this one here for, for $12. All right, fine. There you are. Now, wait a minute. There's 10, one, two, there's... There you are. There's $12. your $12. Thank you. See, this is a... I can't tell the difference. This is really a beautiful watch, isn't it? It certainly is, mm -hmm. and it has an unbreakable crystal. An unbreakable crystal? Yes. Yeah. Well... Here, try it out. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, go ahead. Go on, go ahead. Hit it with the hammer and see. Oh, well, all right. Do you want a gift wrap? Gift wrap? I don't want it at all. I want my money back. Well, I'm sorry. I can't return your money. Oh, you can't, eh? Well, I'm going to get my money back. Come on, now, now, just a minute. Just yeah. a minute. Uh, oh, Mr. Nelson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what is it, Miss Ballard? Well, this man just broke a watch with a hammer, and he wants his money back. Well, of course I broke the watch, but she told me to. She told you to? Yeah. Well, good heavens, don't you have a mind of your own? <laughs> I've got a mind of my own. But this young lady... Young one? Well, she's 42 if she's a day. I'm talking about that. Now, look at, I want my money back. Oh, all right, Miss Valens. Give him back his money before he bites somebody. What? <laughs> You're breathing on my carnation. Oh, get out of here. There you are. What a sore loser. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a fine store to do business with. You walked in, Lotus Blossom. Nobody dragged you. <laughs> oh, quiet. Well, couldn't get a gift for Mary. Anyway, I got Don all set. Now, let's see. Oh, I don't know, that card I sent to Don. I don't know. It didn't seem dignified enough for Christmas. Eh, I think, I, I think I'll change the card. Oh, clerk. Yes, sir. Look at, I, um, you know, I'm the fellow who was here just a little while ago. I bought yeah. that $40 wallet. Yeah. Remember uh -huh. Well, uh, I'd like to, uh, change the card. But, but, mister, I, I already got it wrapped with, with ribbon and, and pencil and, <laughs> and little bells and, and, and holly. Yeah, I know. But I'm sorry, but 
But look, just... I'm sorry, but you'll have to unwrap it, because I want to change the card. But, 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 mister, look, look please, I'm a customer. Um, now, unwrap it. Oh, all right. But it, it's, it's so pretty, it's a, it's a dirty shame. I know. <laughs> A nice ribbon and everything. I know, I just have to change the card. Yeah, I, I like the card you had in yeah, the Yeah, but I have to change it. Oh, I thought it was very witty. <laughs> uh, all, right. all right, now this, this is much better. To Don, a very Merry Christmas from Jack. Huh? All right, now put this in with the gift and wrap it. Yeah, I'll wrap it, I'll wrap it. Good. <laughs> a very original card. To Don, a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> May I help you, young man? Help me? Well, yes, you've been standing in front of this counter for ten minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm confused. Well, that's understandable. You're confused because it's Christmas time, because you have the Christmas spirit. You're buying Christmas presents, and there's so many different things to look at. Well, that explains why I'm confused in December, but what about the other months? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm standing behind this counter because in a moment of wild enthusiasm, I sold my pants. Well, uh, see, I, I, I'm, uh, I gotta buy something for my mother and father, and gosh, I, I don't know what to get them. Well, maybe I can help. Looking at you, I can just picture your mother. Small, petite, gentle, with a kindly smile for everyone. Spends most of the time sitting in a rocking chair knitting. That's my father, and I'll try to guess my mother. Boy, does she make him toe the mark. You mean your father's afraid of your mother? Oh, everybody's afraid of my mother. Boy, you know, when I was born, the stork left me a block away from the house. It's a good thing I knew the address. Hey, you know, while I'm here, maybe I ought to get something for my boss, Mr. Benny. Well, how about this silk shirt? Oh, yeah, that's nice. That'll be fine. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. Hi, doing your Christmas shopping, eh? Yeah, I was just gonna buy you a gift, and you had to walk up and spoil the whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were buying me a gift. Now you'll have to close your eyes. All right. Like this? <laughs> okay, mister, you can wrap it up now. And put it in a shoebox so you won't know it's a shirt. <laughs> Boy, that was a close one. Yeah, it certainly was. Look, that is, you bought me the shirt, did you? Now, why don't you go home before you get lost? Oh, I can't. I'm working here. In this store? Yeah, they have me singing Christmas songs. Here? I can't live on what you pay me. <laughs> oh, gosh, I, I gotta go now. I gotta sing one song. <laughs> can't live on what I pay him. Shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. You'll go down in history. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red nosed I can understand them wanting Dennis to sing here. Voice is so beautiful. Now, let's see what else Jack, do I have to get. Jack! Yes? Not you. I'm talking to the elevator starter. You're not the only Jack in the world, you know. <laughs> I never ran into a guy like... Hey, he's right. I'm not the only Jack in the world. That gift I bought for Don Wilson. When 
I signed the card, I only put down my first name. Gee, $40 gift, a, an elevator starter can get the credit for it. I better change that gift. Oh, Clark. Clark. Yes, sir, what can I do? Uh, do uh... Yes, yes, look at I, I want to change that card again. Oh, no. No, no, no. First you buy the gift, then you write the card, then I wrap the gift, then you change the card, then I unwrap the gift, then you rewrite the card, then, then I wrap the gift again, and now you want to write another card. <laughs> You'll have to un un unwrap the gift. I'm sorry. I already sent it down to the delivery room. Well, then you'll have to go down and get it. All right, all right. I'll go get it. I, I haven't run into anybody like you in 20 years. Oh, why did the governor have to give me that pardon? I don't know about that. Just all bring right, me my pen. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I do for you. Oh, 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 I'm trying to get a guest for my boss. Your boss, eh? Well, huh? what would you like? Well, I don't know. Maybe you got a suggestion. Well, uh, what kind of man is your boss? Is he the athletic type? No. Or is he the, uh, the intellectual type? Well, no. <laughs> the executive type? <laughs> no. Well, uh, perhaps the outdoor type. No. Well, uh, well, perhaps he's the playboy type. No, no. I'm afraid there isn't very much left. That's him. Oh, here you are, mister. Uh, I, I found her. I, I found a fax. Now, now, uh, please, l let's not have any more trouble. No. With, with all that beautiful wrapping and everything. Yeah. Oh, you, you got the card ready? Yes. Yeah. And listen, I, I changed the poem. I want you to hear it. Oh, all okay. right. To Don. Your pear-shaped tones, many announcers ape. But no one can ape your pear-shaped chain. <laughs> Yeah, 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 clever. I think so. I yeah. think so, too. Attention, please. Santa and his reindeer have just arrived in the workshop. All you children, come up, tell him what you want for Christmas, and get your lollipops. <laughs> Peppermint, the same as last year. <laughs> When Lipton blows the whistle, you gotta have a cup of tea. Listen to the Lipton whistle, brisk, 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 Lipton tea. Lipton flow through tea bags, like two bags of flavor in one. That's funny. That card I made out to Don Wilson, I can't find it. I wonder where it is. Oh, Clark. Clark. Now what? Now what? <laughs> I, I made out a card here for Mr. Wilson, and I can't find it. Don't worry about it. I found the card, I put it in the package, I wrapped it as a gift, and I sent it down to the delivery room. But I forgot to sign it. <laughs> I guess you're right. The customer is always right. And this jerk is a customer. Well, let's see. Now I gotta get something for my sister Florence. I think I'll get some lingerie for her. Think, all right. 
Uh, Polly, would you wait on me, please? Do why not? Your money's as good as anybody. <laughs> I'd like to see something nice in, in silk lingerie. Uh, certainly. Uh, what size do you wear? <laughs> it's not for me. Oh. It's for my sister. Oh, I do. Now, what size? 34. Uh, 34, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the whole box of Oh, this, huh? Yeah. It's all that. That's nice lingerie, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hello, will you lay it out? Just lay out the lingerie, uh, uh, please. Just a minute. I mean, why are you wearing gloves? Oh, touching that stuff with my bare hands makes me a nervous wreck. <laughs> what? Especially the black ones. got all day. Look, it just show me size 34. Okay, some lingerie. 30. Oh, here's a nice little garment. A genuine pure silk 90. Uh-huh. Well, this might be nice. That's Let's pretty. See. Let's see this. Oh, what are these loops for here? <laughs> the loops? Yeah, the loops. The loops. <laughs> now, what are the loops for here? Oh, when you go to bed, you hook them over your toes so the nightgown don't creep up. <laughs> How much is this one? It's $15. All right, I'll take this. Oh, thank right you, sir. Yes, $15. Yes, sir. There you are, $10. There's $5. Now, I want you to send it to my sister, Florence. Florence Fenchel. Florence Fenchel. Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. Does she live near the loop? Yeah, the loop. She's about three blocks from the loop. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Oh, There's her address. Now, send her a nice kiss this gift. Yes, sir. How yeah. do you like that? Right through the loop. <laughs> See. Oh, I must I mustn't forget to sign Don's card now. Shopping, aren't you? Well, I got you a gift, but I think I want to get you some a little better. A little better gift for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Rochester. That's ridiculous. It isn't what a gift costs. You know, it's the spirit in which it's given. I guess you're right. Well, of course I'm right. What's the difference what you spend for a present? It's the thought. That comes. What's it worth? It's fifty dollars or forty dollars or a dollar ninety-eight. It doesn't <laughs> So wait right here. I'll be I'll be right back. Oh, Miss Clerk, Clerk. Don't 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 tell me you're gonna 
change, change the cardigan? No, 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 that's not important. I want to change the wallet. Uh, 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 what? Instead of the $40 wallet, I want the one for $1.98. Uh, 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 uh. Everybody, a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you next week for Lipton Tea.
Yes, children, but Santa won't be here until you and Anne are sleeping. Good night, Anne. Good night, good night, Mommy and Daddy. Mommy. Mommy, say good night to Daddy for me. All right, I'll tell him good night for both of you. Drink of water. You've had a drink already. Now, children, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, Dick, I wonder if Santa ever got our letter. Yes, Anne. Far up at the North Pole, Santa is reading your letter now. I think I'll send for them in my magic helicopter. Oh, Toby, come here. What do you want, Santa? Toby, take my magic helicopter and bring the two children here to visit me. Mind you, you must hurry, for my time is short before I make the long Christmas Eve trip. Your own words are my command, Santa. It's just a short hop in the magic helicopter. There it is. Santa's castle at the North Pole. Hold tight, kids, for coming in for a snowy landing. Before you know it, Dick and Anne are hurried to the castle entrance. And see the busy elves hurrying to and fro. I'm very glad you came to see me. Yeah, wait a minute. Sit on my lap and let me tell you about Santa that you might not know. The children are amazed. Here they are, sitting on Santa's lap and listening intently as Santa explains that every year, just before Thanksgiving, he starts the merry Yuletide by visiting towns and cities all over the world. Always ready to please little children, he makes his jolly trip in many different ways. He arrives on river boats and finds many new friends all along the way. Wherever he goes, he always has loads of fun. Oh yes, in many towns, the marching bands turn out and step lively to the merry Christmas tunes. The little elves parade too. Now isn't that nice? They even have a big mailbox to help Santa collect his letters from the boys and girls. See that chimney? I'll let you in on a little secret. Santa almost didn't fit in it, and Mrs. Santa Claus has informed him that he must stop eating so much. With all the big new shopping centers opening everywhere, Santa has to use his new rock to get around, but he still uses his reindeer on Christmas Eve. They can get him just anywhere, and he's so proud of them, too. Since Dick and Ann are visiting him, no trip to Santa Land would be complete without a tour of the village toy shop. The good little elves have a miniature town and in every window have little toy people jumping around. 
Here they make the tinsel and the Christmas tree ornaments. In this little store, they make the ribbon. Turn out the wreaths and make your home so bright and cheery. It fills the air with Christmas spirit. Here are the little girls. Dolls are dressed with fine and fancy stitch. And oh yes, baby brother is quite a helper too. Every doll must have a head and also have a body. These busy elves on spinning lays turn out the long thin bodies, while others paint their saucy faces and put them all together. Hard-working elves and Santa too like pies and cakes and cookies. This little store delights in making all those yum-yum goodies. A tour of Santa's Happy Land would not be quite complete without a visit to his big toy warehouse, not far from the street. There's gifts and toys for everyone. It's really a big treat. There's bears and dogs and cats galore. There's lions, tigers too. They won't bite and they don't fight because they're just made for you. Those busy elves are everywhere and Santa needs them too. You wind them up, you turn them on, those funny little toys. The monkey drums and drums and drums and he never does get tired. Our old mother bear, she scrubs and rubs. While Junior telephones, he'd rather talk the whole day through than do a lick of work. For little girls, a doll is fun to wash, to dress, and spank. And Santa has a big supply of every kind and type. How Anne enjoy these pretty dolls, and Dick shows no delight. A kitchen full of household toys will keep the youngster busy. She'll cook and scrub the whole day long, then serve a TV dinner. Okay, wizard, this is ready to be packed. All children like to make some noise, and Santa says it's music. A toy piano or a drum will give them hours of fun. The older children like to build, and here's a boat to prove it. For Dick and Ann, their visit's almost over, but Santa saved his pride and joy till last. We'll take his rocket to the Super Toy Town trains. All aboard! Whoosh! And here we are. Now, wasn't that fun? It's just a few steps from the rocket to a breathtaking view of Santa's wonderful trains. I wonder if Anne will be as excited as Dick. There's trains of all kinds, coming and going, starting and stopping, logging trains, freight trains, streamliners, old-time choo-choos. I'll bet Daddy would enjoy this, too. Look at that village. There must be a whole town of toy houses. Look out, children. Don't let that train run over you. And look, a toy circus with sideshows and a big three-ring circus tent. Did you ever see such a wonderful show? 
look at that circus parade. Santa, do these trains ever wreck? They do. Gosh, that's fun. Oh, no wrecks today. This is loads of fun. We could watch them for hours. Look, a toy coal mine. Do we really have to leave, Santa? It's time to go back home. We have certainly enjoyed it, but we know that you have to start on your long journey. I'm so glad you came. Dick and Ed, always remember the entire Christmas celebration is to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ hundreds of years ago in the wonderful spirit of Christmas. His goodwill on... Hurry home with Toby. Bye. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all! Merry Christmas! We hope you have enjoyed our very first Christmas Weirdtacular. Please feel free to email us your comments about it. Also be sure to check out our blog for information on tonight's episode and other creepy, strange and weird things from the worlds of cinema and television. So, for all of us here at Weirdo Rama, this is Victor Von Psychotron telling all of you to have a Merry Christmas. Please remember to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater.